Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. I've just woken up to a 2023 update and I've seen a new tool, Intertwine tool. Um, it's, well, it's, a, it's an object um, effect. So you go up to objects and intertwine. It's down there, make. Nothing's selected, so it's not showing. So the first thing I've done is draw some shapes. I've got three uh, shapes here, a circle and two rounded rectangles, and they're just on top of each other at the minute, circle in the back, then the green, and then the blue. So intertwine works if you select all of these objects and go up to object, intertwine, make. It then gives you a lasso tool. And if you lasso round an overlap, it puts it behind. That's very, very clever. So we can just go around undo sometimes it doesn't do it perfectly so you can just undo and then you go to object intertwine and then it won't do make so you gotta edit it so you gotta go around and if it works if I don't finish the circle yeah it does so that works if I hold uh, option I reckon I'll probably undo yep yeah, option so it just reverses whatever you've done. And then you can go up to Object, Intertwine, and you can't release it actually. So how do we actually release? Maybe we select them all again, Object, Intertwine, Release, and it puts it back. So that, I wondered if it would work with text. So I've just typed cool, and I'm gonna use a brush and snake around through the O's down here and over the L and up. And this is just a chain tool. I'm gonna to make it a chain brush that I drew. Uh, so I'm gonna make that white. So if we select both the text and the chain, go to objects, intertwine, make, and go around this. Ah, there we go. Have we dip into there, yeah. Into there, yeah. That is the new intertwine tool. Very clever Adobe, well done. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.